Earlier today, big news of the day, a trade in the NHL. The Penguins acquiring Tanner Pearson from the LA Kings in exchange for Carl Haglin. Rupert, you said uh, not often, not always it works out where, you know, both sides kind of win uh, in a trade like this. You feel like this one is that case. Yeah, I mean, there's low risk here. Lost, you could speak to that as being a, a former GM. They, they, it's, they're kicking the tires on what their issues are. You got one team, L.A., that's slow. Well, they just got one of the fastest players in the league that creates some chaos, but has had, a trouble, has had trouble scoring some goals and providing offense. The team he's coming from, Pittsburgh, needs secondary scoring. Tanner Pearson hasn't scored at all. Not this year. but Not he, this year, but he has in the DNA. past, and he has a track record, and he's going to get an opportunity to play with Evgeny Malkin. So um, they're just trying to, to mix it up, get spur on some – some good vibes for their squads because up to this point, both teams have been underachieving. Yeah, I, I would say if you're L.A., you're thinking we're going to bring Carl Hagelin in, see if he gives us a spark. Maybe uh, we catch lightning in a bottle, we take off and go on and make the playoffs, or more likely. We've seen it happen before with the acquisition of Carl Hagelin. That's right. We've absolutely seen it happen before, but the higher percentage or odds of that happening versus them not making the playoffs – to me, I'd take them not making the playoffs at this stage. It's just been that difficult a start. And then what do you do with Carl Hagelin? I think you move him at the trade deadline. I think you, he's going to see prime minutes. He's going to get every opportunity to get it going offensively. And if he becomes a piece at the trade deadline, then maybe you recruit a second or third round pick.